Hello, my dear students. Teacher Jason here, and it's time for our online science class. I hope you and your family stay safe and everything all right with you. I wish you enjoy and have a really good time here with me. So let's dive into our lesson. Uh, let's recap everything we learned in school, okay, before this uh, pandemic time. So we discover with you physical changes, right? Physical changes, okay? And um, what I want to start from is solids, liquid, and gases are cold states of matter, yeah? There is three states of matter. So I want you to repeat after me. Number one is solid, number two is liquid, and number three is gas. Okay, repeat after me. Solid, liquid, gas, right? Good job. Matter can change from one state to another if uh, heated or cooled down, yeah? And change of state of matter is change from one state of matter to another. Temperature is important for this change. We call this kind of change as physical changes, right? So, uh, one more time, what is physical changes? Yeah, we learned that when we heat up or cool down water until certain levels, it will change from one state of matter to another. These changes are reversible, yeah? What does it mean? All matter can change from one state to another. Heat is important for the change of states. When we heat up or cool it down, matter until certain levels, it will change its shape, size, volume, and state. But it's still the same matter, yeah? These changes can be reversed and matter will go back to its original state by heating or cooling. This is shown, uh, shown on our uh, diagram here, yeah? All right, so let's repeat one more time all physical changes, okay? There is six of them, okay? We have three state of matter, liquid, gas, and solid, solid, liquid, gas, yeah? And we have uh, physical changes, six physical changes. First one, uh, if we have solid and we... Uh, want to get liquid. Yes, from solid to liquid. Do you remember what the name of these physical changes? If we have solid ice, for example, we increase temperature and we get liquid. What the name of these physical changes? Yes, please. Yes, correct. It's melting. Okay. When some solids are heated until a certain level, they may change their state from solid to liquid. And we call these physical changes melting, right? So when a liquid is uh, cooled until a certain level, it may change its state from liquid to solid. So if we uh, decrease temperature and we have a liquid and we want to get solid from liquid, so we decrease, decrease heat so, and we get from liquid solid. And these physical changes called solidification, right? You remember that? Okay, next one, number three. If we have uh, liquid and through our physical changes, we will get gas, yeah? We have liquid, we increase temperature, yeah? We heat it up. And from liquid, we get gas. And these physical changes we call evaporation, right? When a liquid is heated until a certain level, it may change its state from liquid to gas. There are two ways to do this. Evaporation, a natural process wherein the liquid at the surface change to gas <coughs> and boiling, yeah? A change of state from liquid to gas that happens when a liquid is heated until it reaches its boiling point. For liquid, for water, it's 100 degree, all right? And uh, let's reverse here, yeah? from gas to liquid, 
from gas to liquid, uh, we decrease heat. Yeah, we decrease heat. We cool it up. We cool it. Uh, we cool down gas, and we get liquid. And when a gas is cooled until a certain level, it may change its state from gas to liquid. And please tell me what the name of this uh, physical changes. It is condensation, right? It is condensation. We call it condensation. Repeat after me, condensation, all right? Next one, when some solids are heated until certain level, they may change their state from solid to gas directly without being a liquid, okay? Without being a liquid from solid, we can get gas directly. This is called, do you remember? It's called sublimation. Repeat after me, please, sublimation. Some examples of solids that can sublime are burnout, comfort, dry ice, and so on, right? And let's look on reverse uh, physical changes from gas. We want to get solid, okay? When some gases are cooled until a certain level, they may change their state from gas to solid directly without being a liquid first, yes? And we call this one, you remember how? Please try to guess. Deposition, okay? So when some gases are cooled until a certain level, they may change their state from gas to solid directly without being a liquid first. This is called deposition, right? Repeat after me, deposition. So we have three state of mind, uh, three state of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. And we have six different physical changes. One more time, repeat after me. Melting, solidification, evaporation, condensation, sublimation, deposition. All right? This is all I want to tell you about um, our physical changes. So we recap everything we learn in our classroom, okay? Also, we discover with you the effects of change of state of matter, okay? And we know there is some benefits and some negative side of physical changes, advantages and disadvantages, plus and minus, okay? Let's discover advantages. Advantages, do you remember what is it? Big benefit of uh, effects of the change of state of matter is the water cycle, okay? which is important to all living things, happens because of changes of state, right? Of state of matter. Okay, also we use mm, physical changes to make ice, right? To make ice. Also we use water in every uh, day life, in uh, steam engines, right? In ice making and in ice cream making, all right? And there is some negative side of uh, physical changes, right? Disadvantages, okay, minus. So heli stones destroy plants and destroy everything, yeah? Uh, big heli stone can destroy houses, cars, and other things, yes? What else? Polar ice melt and living thing lost their habitat. Climate change makes the polar ice caps to melt which cause floods and make living things to lose their habitat. So it's big disadvantages for all living things, right? So also we discover with you the dissolution of substance in water. Yeah, when a substance dissolves or mixes in water, it changes from one state of matter to another, right? So, and you remember, yeah, do you remember where where the solution took place here. For sure, it's in glass two. We discovered it before because item D dissolved in item C or item C dissolves item D and all our uh, substance uh, look same, yeah? Okay, solution, solute and solvent. Let's recap this one one more time and very fast, okay? The liquid is the solvent, all right? The 
Salute is added to the solvent. Salute small, right? It's short work compared to solvent and solvent longer than salute and it's mean solvent every time bigger, yeah? Bigger compared to salute, right? And if the salute dissolves, we say it's soluble, right? Repeat after me, soluble, soluble, and we make new solution, all right? Soluble solution, all right? Repeat after me, solution, okay? Solution, it's solvent and salute, here yeah? mixed together. If salute is water loving, it's soluble. One more time, if salute is water fearing, insoluble, all right? Repeat after me, soluble and insoluble, okay? Salutes that dissolve in water can be solid, liquid, and gas, okay? And let's recap examples, okay? Do you remember any examples? Solids is granulate sugar, liquid is alcohol, right? And gas is oxygen dissolved in water, right? And we also can say that Soda water is good example of gas, all right? All right, I want you open your copybook, all right? I ask you to prepare your copybook, work textbook, and pen, right? Copybook, work textbook, and pen. Every time you can put our video on pause and Prepare everything and write down everything what I ask you to write. And when you finish, you can uh, push the play button and continue our lesson, right? So right now, please put video on pause, prepare your work textbook, copy book, and pen, right? When you're ready, you please push play button again and we continue our lesson. So right now I want you open your copybook, take your pen and write down our new topic. Okay, our new topic is chemical changes in substances. Chemical changes in substances. Please repeat after me. Chemical changes in substances, all right? Chemical changes in substances, write it down. Our topic for today, chemical changes in substances, right? And we continue writing, okay? What is chemical changes? What is chemical changes? Let's discover what is chemical changes, all right? Chemical changes is chemical reaction resulting in the formation of a new substance with new properties, all right? Chemical changes is chemical reaction resulting in the formation of a new substance with new properties, all right? Write it down, please, write it down. Take your pen and write it down in your copybook. Chemical changes is chemical reaction resulting in the formation of a new substance with a new properties, okay? When you finish writing, I will show you some exciting video about chemical changes, right? So if you're not finished uh, writing, please pause the video, finish writing, push the play button, and we continue our lesson with amazing video about chemical changes. What is chemical changes? Attention, please, on the screen. First of all, you pause the video lesson, please. Pause our video lesson. Then click the link and watch video one. It's appear here on the screen or you can find the link in description below. And when you finish watching video one, continue to watch our video lesson, all right? So when you finish, please close that uh, window and come back to our video lesson and continue to watch our video lesson. So I ask you to pause the video now, open video one, and when you finish with video one, continue to watch our video lesson, right? So let's do it right now. Pause the video, please. Okay, I hope you enjoy our video. 
amazing chemical reactions here. And I ask you, do not repeat this reaction, chemical reaction at your home, okay? Because it's not safe. All right, one more time. Chemical changes, it chemical reactions resulting in the formation of a new substance with new properties, okay? Sometimes some changes will form a new substance. This substance has different properties from the original substance, okay? The changes can be in its color, smell, or form, all right? These changes are called chemical changes. All right, so now we a little bit know what is chemical changes and we completely understand physical changes, all right? So now I want you to show one more video and we will compare chemical changes and physical changes. And I'm pretty sure you will get new knowledge and it will be easy for you, okay? So attention on the screen, please. Next video, chemical changes. All right, to watch next video, I ask you again to pause the video lesson, click the link and watch video two. Same way like we make with video one in the beginning of our lesson. When you finish, watch video number two. Come back to our video lesson and continue to watch our video lesson, all right? See you here after you finish, watch video two. Okay, pause the video now and go watch video two. And I'm waiting you here, okay? See you later. All right, now i sure you can realize the difference between chemical changes and physical changes. And the key word to understand the differences is with chemical reaction, we formation of a new substance with new properties, new substance, all right? New substance. In physical changes, no any substance from new substance formation okay so uh let's recap our video what we just watched now so in a physical change appearance of form changes here we have sand uh, castle and if i smash it and it's form changed so substance remains same it's sand yeah but form from castle change to smashed yeah, to footprint of uh, elephant. So substance remains same, it's sand, but uh, form change, it's physical changes, right? And all the products from a steel forms of water, yeah? When we have ice, then it's melting to water, and then it's uh, evaporate to uh, vapor, water vapor. It's all physical changes, yeah, because uh, uh, it's the same forms of water, yeah? And we change only state of matter and it's physical changes. And uh, broken uh, plate, yeah, it's uh, steel parts of a plate. That's why it's physical changes, right? But when we burn, yeah, when we burn, when we apply fire, yeah, chemical reaction take place because from wood, yeah, we get new substance, new substance get from its coal, yeah? From wood, we get coal because of burn, yeah? And this is chemical reaction because new substance get from, okay? We get new substance. It means that it result of chemical reaction, right? And yeah, because new substance, how I said before, chemical uh, chemical reactions, new substance or form. New substance, we get new substance, it means chemical change, right? So, yeah, this is it. Uh, also, yeah, over time, chemical reactions have taken place, uh, resulting in rusting, yeah? Rust on iron and metal, yeah? Rusting, this is a chemical changes as well, right? Rusting, it's chemical changes because new substance rust, yeah? We get new substance called rust and that's why it's chemical changes. All right, also when we light a matchstick, 
combustion reaction take place yeah and again this is a chemical changes all right chemical changes because combustion re reaction take place okay chemical changes all right now i ask you to open your work textbook on page 164 right one 164 please try the uh, please find the exercise let's try this and now we will uh, identify chemical changes and explain why all right you can pause the video prepare your work textbook open page 164 find the exercise let's try this take your pen and then you can push the play button and we will fill up our table on page 164 okay all right, uh, number one, it's toast, yeah? Uh, what the, uh, I upgrade, okay, a little bit to make it much easier. So look, first of all, we have toast, yeah? Raw toast, okay? And then we put raw toast in toaster, okay? We increase temperature and we get fried toast, okay? So is it chemical changes or no? Uh, so let's, uh, I show you the reason, okay? So we have first uh, raw uh, toast and after applying heat, we get fried toast. So what uh, is it? It change of color, you see? We change color and actually it's change smell, right? So we apply heat here and we, find uh, that we change color and smell so this is chemical changes okay ticket write it down please changes of color and smell and ticket yes right if you still writing please pause video okay put video on pause when you finish writing continue watch our lesson okay number two look we have uh for A for she, right? And then after some manipulation, we transform this A for she in some paper toy, yeah, origami. So is it physical changes or no? So what the reason? We change of shape, but still the same substance, okay? Write it down. We change of shape, but it's still the same substance. Write it down. Change of shape, but it's still the same substance. So here, no any new substance. Please identify it. Is it chemical changes or it's physical changes? Chemical changes or not. So if you think it's chemical changes, please stick it here. If you think it's not chemical changes, Tick it here on no column, okay? So I remind you, when we get new substance, it's physical changes. Oh, sorry, it's uh, chemical changes. But when we no have any new substance and substance remain the same, it's no chemical changes, okay? So decide what is it, it's chemical changes or it's not chemical changes, okay? And let's go to uh, number three, substance number three. Actually, we have uh, what, what they want to uh, ask us. We have green mango, okay? And we left this green mango for some time, okay? First it's dropped, then it gets sweet, a little bit yellow and green here, and after some time it became very sweet and it's changed color okay and also it smells differently okay so we have a uh, green manga and after some time it's green manga became ripe manga right so it's the same reason the same like in number one okay we change color manga change of color and smell okay write it down uh, here in reason on uh, substance three uh, in reason, reasons column, please write down, like in the same uh, first substance, we change 
color and smell, right? Change of color and smell. So easy, yes? Now you identify, is it chemical changes or it's no chemical changes, right? Write it down, please, and tick it in the right column, okay? And when you finish, pause the video right now. And when you finish, please push the play button and we continue our lesson. Well done, my dear students. All right, it's time to summarize our lesson. Let's recap it. Watch closely, please, and try to memorize it, right? So we learn with you chemical changes in substances, right? And we discover with you what is chemical changes, yeah? We uh, watch amazing chemical changes video here. And I ask you to don't uh, repeat these experiments at home because it's a bit dangerous. And we discover with you chemical changes is chemical reaction resulting in the formation of a new substance with new properties. Yeah, new so every time we have deal with chemical changes, we every time we get new substance with new properties. Also, we discover with you difference between physical changes and chemical changes. In physical changes, appearance of form changes, yeah? And substance remains the same. Every time substance remains the same. In uh, case of chemical changes, substance changes, right? Substance changes. Every time we have chemical changes, substance change, and substance has new properties. Okay, now our lesson is finished. I hope it was exciting and interesting for you and I wish to see you soon, all right? So I wish you stay safe with your family at your home, stay home and see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.